This is a Star Wars Action News Hypercast. Hey everybody, Andrew here and I'm back for another Mando Monday. Uh, last week we started off with the man himself, Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back. Today we're going to kick off with another Boba Fett. This time though, it's um, basically a repaint. This is the animated version of Boba Fett, uh, based on the colorization of his armor seen in the cartoon after the holiday special. So, uh, we're just going to dive right in. I suspect this is going to be a very simple uh, unboxing, not a lot to it. Basically the same figure that we opened up last week, only with a different color. But we'll see what we get. I am not anticipating seeing this colorization used anywhere in the Mandalorian show itself, although you will notice one of his accessories from that show. All right, there he is in the box. Looking snazzy. And right away, you'll see what I was talking about. That sure looks like Din Djarin's blaster rifle. All right. Let's see. When I first saw that uh, teaser photo that John Favreau posted from season one of that blaster, I knew immediately what he was referring to and uh, knew exactly how much care he was putting into the project. If he's focusing that much on the blaster from the holiday special animated short. All right, look at that. Beautiful art. I absolutely love the photography that they use. Look at the colors. I love this background that they used. Phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Let's see what's behind. There he is. Look at that. Look at those bright, vibrant colors. I love it. I'm really excited about this one. You know, usually I'm not a big fan of repaints, which is basically what this is. But there's just something about that animated coloring um, with that uh, that animated special that I don't know. I just I just really like it. It really pops. So right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of similarities, even with the packaging. Um, up in the the corner is all of those little instruments that we talked about last time uh, for him to put down in his pants. All right, we'll start off though with the figure himself. Oh man, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, people don't give the, the uh, holiday special much credence, but that animated short, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, all right, yeah, so very, very similar. Um, I suspect that all of the armor is basically the same mold. Um, it's like that, yeah, they've even got the dent up there, uh, the dent in his cod piece. All of the armor looks to be exactly the same as the one that we opened last week from Empire. One difference is, of course, the Wookiee Braids is just a single braid as opposed to the, uh, the multiples we got last week. The cape is also pristine. It doesn't have all the holes that you saw uh, in the Empire Strikes Back version. And it's also got a really nice, almost like a, um, a vinyl strip. The rest of this is fabric, but this is vinyl, which really makes it shine. Gives it a glossy look. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like it a lot more than I was expecting to. Yeah, these colors, they're just so vibrant. I just love it. I love that color scheme. I'm not saying I'd want to see it in the movie itself, but man, there's just something about those. That bright blue helmet contrasted with the yellow uh, chest plates and, and knee pads. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm super excited. All right, let's see what else we got. Of course, his backpack in the same color scheme. Again, those jets do swivel just like they did last time. Which is a great little detail. I love it when Hot Toys puts that kind of stuff into it. A lot like the the blaster rifle for the stormtroopers. It's got that piece that folds out for the 
the stack that you can put up against their shoulders if you really wanted to. Though you never see them do that in the movie. All right, what else we've got? Of course, we've got his little blaster, which is exactly the same as the one that we opened last week. This time, though, the holster is different. This is much more similar to the uh, Han Solo blaster pistol uh, holster, where the strap goes over the top. The Empire Strikes Back version, the strap kind of goes around to the side. And this one just goes over the top. And I like this one better because it's a little magnet. The one I had last week, I couldn't get open right away because it had a, it's a little pin that goes into a teeny tiny hole in the holster. And uh, yeah, it was hard to get out. And then I had a hard time getting it back in to the point where I just left it out. And let gravity just hold it in place. Here's with the blaster. What else have we got? We've got uh, five other hands. Very um, standard. We've got kind of the relaxed open. We've got the trigger finger. Of course, he comes default with the fists. Another kind of holding the, the, uh, the blaster rifle, I'm sure. And then a couple of open, open palms. Again, very standard. And of course, here again are the little tools that we saw last week. Almost exactly the same. The, uh, there's, the paint job's different, like this one is just silver, whereas the one from last week had some color to it. And this one's different, this is just a pin, just like a nail. Not really sure what that would be. All right, and then of course, yes, the infamous blaster rifle, the disintegrator of Jawas as we saw in The Mandalorian Season 1. Again, check out the color scheme in here. You got nice gold, kind of like a bronze almost really, not really gold, more of a bronze color. And then this really kind of fuchsia, I guess maybe? Uh, it's got some really nice weathering detail on it. it looks like it's been used a lot, um, scuffed up, which is really great. Oh man, just loving the colors on this, it's fantastic. All right, what else we got? Not a lot, lot. Ooh, of course, can't forget the stand. Now this is the uh, stand shape that they used for uh, a lot of the sequel trilogy characters. Um, to kind of a love-hate relationship with. Um, on the one hand, uh, they're they're bulkier, right? They're uh, because they're more round. They aren't as sleek as the rectangular ones, so you can't get figures back to back as much, but with that angular side, if you've got multiple of these, you can really arrange them in a really interesting pattern. Um, and this is nice. It's not just a standard top. It's got the Mythosaur skull on it, which is really neat. And it's got a like a clear plastic cover on it, so it's got a nice shine to it. Yeah, that's a nice little detail. All the ones from the sequel trilogy, of course, are, are matte. Um, they don't have any sort of shine over the top of them. Um, that makes this one a little, little special. All right, again, the, the figure is exactly the same as the one that we did last week. Um, all the posability is going to be the same. It's the exact same armor, um, just with different colors. And again, I think the colors are what make this piece so spectacular. I'm in, I'm in love with it, it's, it's phenomenal. I'm shocked at how much I like it. I wasn't sure at first if I was gonna pick this one up um, because again, I'm usually not a big fan of repaints, but uh, you know, it's, it's Boba Fett. It's the animated style from the holiday special. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty special, I will, I will say that. It is definitely special. This is going to look great, I think, next to the other ones. And it's going to be a good uh, conversation piece. You know, people who aren't um, as into Star Wars as some of us um, might see it in my collection amongst my other Boba Fett's. I mean, what's up with that one? I don't remember ever seeing that one. Then you can launch into the tale of the, the infamous holiday special, which even if they're not into Star Wars, they've probably heard of because it is so infamous. All right, well, that is the... Uh, holiday special animated version of Boba Fett from Hot Toys. Um, again, I'm I'm really happy with this. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. 
um, a great addition to the collection. It's going to um, add a lot of color uh, to, to Hot Toys collectors. Um, you've get a, you get a lot of uh, blacks, a lot of whites, a lot of browns, but you don't get a lot of bright blues. So this will really kind of pop out of the the uh, the collection once it's on the shelf, which which is really gonna really gonna be neat. All right, guys. Well, um, that's it for this Mando Monday. I uh, hope to see you next week with uh, maybe another repaint. I thought I said I didn't like those. Thanks for watching. Please check out some of our other videos, and you can hear hundreds of Star Wars collecting podcasts and see photo galleries at our site, swactionnews.com.